Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Ika at Ika's World. I am going to show you how I will make some um, wall sconces. I love wall sconces of all kinds. And um, I decided to, to see if I can uh, make this I've seen it in a store. Well, it's not with in a store it's more expensive, clearly. But I decided to see if I can clone it. I I will try to look for the inspiration um picture to see if I can or even link to see if I can if I can find it. Anyway, I will be using chopping mats from the Dollar Tree and napkin holders. Gorilla glue. Some of this diamond wrap. And hot glue. And that's about it. So I will start by marking. I, I wanted to to put the. I, I don't want them. I, I want them very simple, just the way they were in the in the store. They were lovely. So um, I will just use the diamond wrap right in the middle of it right probably where not probably for sure where it where in the middle of the napkin ring so i will start by measuring um to see where it where um half it's half is so um luckily i already did one last night and it comes to six and a half inches. So if I measure six and a half inches from uh, from either side, from either side uh, in in the length of the uh, chopping mat, it's gonna come almost close to exactly half. So six and a half inches. I put the, um, the white paper down because it's much easier uh, beneath it. It's much easier for me to see um, to see where where the mark is. And a half comes here. Oh, wrong side. See, uh, one one side is really shiny, and the other one is a little bit um, frosty. I would say. So I'm going to use uh, uh, the frosty side. I will use six and a half inches on the other side. is just to give me an idea um, to make sure that I put it straight I put the 
the ribbon straight. I glued the uh, ribbon straight. Okay, so same. If I put the ribbon like this, I start there. And now, see, it's almost six and a half inches. Like, almost to a T. So now, I will use some Gorilla Glue. Now I will measure the ribbon. I will align it with the with the with my mark. And if you notice, I leave it a little bit longer than um, than than the width of my uh, chopping mat. And I will you will you will see why in a minute. I will give it a dab of hot glue just to keep it in place until it dries completely. On the other side too. And then we'll let it dry for whatever amount of time, a couple of hours until the Gorilla Glue um, dries. But this is the idea. I'll set it aside. And I have one that is dry. I glued it in last night. This one. So what I am going to do what I'm going to do I'm going to bend it like that and then just slide it gently through the rings of the uh, napkin holder like this will have to be a little bit careful because I don't want my um, my ribbon to unglue. So I want the um, uh, the longer the longer ends. I want to wrap them. If you if you can see, I didn't slide them underneath the the wire. I put them on top 
so what I'm going to do I'm just going to bend them over on both sides and then glue them like so this will keep it in place hopefully <laughs> so I'm just going to hot glue the ends in place I will give it a generous amount of glue because I don't know um, how well it's gonna hold. It's not heavy, so it should it should um, stay in place. But okay, and on the other side. Do the same on the other side. And I will just hold it in place until it sits. And that's all there is to it. Aren't they pretty? So back here, I will slide in a, um, a battery operated um, LED light. I will see if I can find uh, some, maybe some remote control ones because um, then you don't have to, you, you can just use the remote easily. But yeah i think that's that's exactly how not that's pretty close to what i've seen in the store i think it's very pretty simple and just gorgeous Okay, so I wanted it simple, but when I put it on the, um, on the wall, it doesn't look as good as I imagined. So I am going to do another trim, uh, the, um, a thinner one, a slimmer one, one, one row at the top and another one at the bottom. And this one I will apply with hot glue.
Okay, so the other one is almost dry. I am going to do that one and then I will I will show you how they look on the on the wall. Okay, folks, here they are. They are very unique and very pretty. If you don't know, that's a chopping mat and a napkin holder. For sure, you would not know that it cost me less than $10 to make both of them. I think I should change the battery in the in the lower um, light. I don't know if you can see it. I have one facing up and one facing down. But the one facing down it looks like the battery is uh, is not strong enough. Mm, here they are with no lights. In the evening they look much better. With the lights on. I love them. Thank you for watching. I hope I inspired you. If you liked my video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. Share it with, share the video with your friends and family. You know what to do. Have a great day, have a good night, wherever you are.